Hey, welcome back, folks. This is Freeman Sullivan here at Washington Square Park in uh, New York City. It's a beautiful day out today. I'm, I'm just keeping an eye on the New York Park or the New York Police Department. Seems like they're showing up with more and more officers down here, maybe trying to make a move or something. So we're here. Never a shortage of police department when the word Occupy is mentioned. We know that Obama has ordered directly from the White House to suppress the Occupy movement, ordering his little minions, the police department, down here to push people around, whatever. But today looks like a peaceful day, but we are aware we will be monitoring the actions of the New York City Police Department. That's why we're here, why we came all the way from San Francisco to safeguard the people that are participating here through the use of live streams. Why they would have so many police officers down here is beyond me. Uh, this is a peaceful gathering of people. And to be honest, I'd rather concentrate on the people down here than concentrating on the freaking police department. Oh, it's a lovely day here in New York. The weather here is just absolutely phenomenal. Beautiful. I'd like to check it out. Well, we are down here watching the New York City Police. Their every move will be Reported for you. Yelling that, I got a nice little hot spot. So if they try to uh, jam us their cell phones, well, I'm prepared for that. And I'm going to do my best to make sure that you get the live coverage. I don't spot anybody that I've seen on live stream before in the New York NYPD. It seems like they showed up here with a few more police officers. Yeah, that's, that's separate. I was happy to meet the folks from uh, Global Revolution. Uh, they've mirrored uh, me countless times. A big shout out if you're you're online and you want to. Uh, uh, you can tweet them at Global Rev Live, um, and they'll be happy to tweet back. Uh, check out the Global Revolution uh, website, globalrevolution.tv, and they will be mirroring mirroring all the uh, pertinent live streamers that are here uh, covering Occupy Wall Street. We got your towel here. He's here from San Francisco as well. And he's been live streaming off and on. And he's at, um, you can check him on Ustream at Occupy San Francisco 3. Uh, Occupy SF3, I think it is. And he live streams here as well. And there's a few other live streamers. If you'd like to participate in the chat, please be logged in with Twitter or Facebook or Ustream. And uh, log on to social stream, click the tab, and you can tweet me and message me, and I'll be happy to respond to your messages. No, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> I had some battery problems earlier, but we seem I to have all this battery. sorted out. Yeah, yeah, I still have all these batteries, but I didn't have a chance to charge them. So, uh, so you know, and all night plugged in, right? Yeah, I didn't have a whole night. And the and the one I did have a full charge on, I left it over where I'm staying at, right? Like an idiot. And when I walked out, I said, "You know, I forgot that battery." And uh, no, I'll just, I'll just, you know, I, I gotta go. I'm, I've been sitting around Brooklyn too long. I'm gonna get into Manhattan, you know. <laughs> yeah, it seems like they showed up with a few more police officers, but everything looks peaceful. Let's hope it stays peaceful. We're not here to. There's actually not going to be any direct action from this event, so uh, we don't expect the police department to intervene. Right. What's going on today, anyway? Do. Uh, this is, what, is it an anti-capitalist march? I'm not sure, that's why I'm asking you. 
anti-capitalist Yeah, what's going on today? In theory, if we're to believe nebulous Facebook person that nobody knows, at four minutes ago from 15th and 5th that was going to be leaving, which is 2.6 miles to the north of us. Okay. So then why are they all so there may, uh, that's, maybe that's why the police why showed up. Yeah, we had a lot of police that shown up in the last few minutes, like in the last ten minutes. I'm only going by uh, a Facebook event invite. From right, right. We know. That nobody actually. Knows. Yeah. Facebook. yeah. A lot of the organizing that's gone on around uh, Occupy Wall Street, it's not for lack of effort, but um, the event really isn't as together as it could be. Um, that's my personal criticism. Uh, but uh, by and large, you know, we got lots and lots of people out here, and you know. We're trying to stay real positive. The weather here is just absolutely gorgeous. Couldn't ask for a better day in New York City. I've never, I've been to New York lots of times, and this is, this is the best. So for all you weather, uh, you weather snobs out in San Francisco, that it's as beautiful or more beautiful than it gets in San Francisco. So we got, I guess we got a good 2,000 participants that are here watching in Square Park. Yeah I, was, yeah, I was talking to the weather snobs back in San Francisco, right? Are you going to be back for the call um, Yeah. I'll call you after this lunch. Yeah, I'm going to be here in New York until Thursday of next week. And then I'm going to uh, Baltimore. You're good. Baltimore? Yeah, my family lives in Baltimore. So, I'm going to go eat some crab cakes and hang out in, at Bell's Point. And, you know, I got a room in uh, lovely Mount Vernon in, in Baltimore. and So, it's going to be a good time. I'll be live streaming from Baltimore as well. And I'll be going by Occupy Baltimore, which is happening. I've been by Occupy DC, and there's actually, believe it or not, there's still people down at Occupy DC that are hanging out. There is, they're all here. Yeah, well, everybody started coming up, coming up. And what's your name, sir? Would Occupy you like Carlisle. Right. I am from DC. Right. What's going on in Baltimore? Where do you I'm not really sure. I'm just going to go by and check it out. Oh, I've been wanting to check it out. It's not too far from DC. Yeah, exactly. It's a, you know, um, I took the Chinese bus up here, Chinatown bus. Uh, and they make a nice stop in Baltimore, so I'm gonna have my dad come and pick me up, and and then we're gonna go by and see what's going on, right? Baltimore's a great town. It gets overlooked in here in the East Coast a lot of times, but it is actually one of the most fun cities to go check out. All right, so we got the spirit. Yeah. All the bands that went down there? Yeah, I did. I didn't see any segways. Yeah, I did. Mount Vernon, where, where are the mountain police? I'm really disappointed. Uh, they're probably saving those for Monday as, as, as the segway cops. I want to see more so What's this West Coast Convergence thing I just heard about earlier? Okay. I'm not sure. Columbus Day. Okay. So there's going to be a big demonstration in San Francisco. I do know all about the S-17 in San Francisco. They're doing an occupied thing was the last thing I heard. Right. So, if you want to go guess, that oh, that's going to be on uh, September 17th at 12 noon at 18th and Castro in San Francisco. Uh, occupy a bank. They're going to uh, occupy, I think it's uh, uh, Bank of America that's on the corner there. Yeah. Well, they're going to be at the Bank of America, and uh, it's an action against uh, it's, uh, uh, foreclosures. And that'll be in San Francisco. That's at noon. Uh, we do know that there's going to be uh, occupations that are going to be going all day. Um, September 17th in San Francisco, uh, starting at 7 o'clock in the morning and lasting until 8. Right. It gets tired. Like, they, they really fucked it up last time because, uh, what, what's his name? Jai Veda was, like, actually working with the Archdiocese and was that close to actually getting permission to be there. And then, fu- and then fucking sank him in them to yeah. the thing and slapped him all in the face. That really irritated me as well. And because then the whole division with the. Uh, well, that's why that started it. I went to because it was five hours of like blocking. Well, I was there. Oh. When I wasn't there, I was watching on a live stream, and we, you know, I was watching your live stream. And you saw how frustrated. And I saw how I frustrated. Him. I, I, yeah. I, I totally like I love Zingham, but he was in the wrong that day. Totally in the wrong. Yeah, I, I've been. I work with Zingham now. I'm doing uh, some uh, court support for occupiers in San Francisco. It doesn't. The only person that's really facing. Who's still in jail? And there's two people. Uh, one of them is a guy named Jesse, the guy who was that threw the brick. brick. Yeah, and he's in um, uh, administrative detention, and he's not going to be released. And judging from the lawyers and the people that I've talked to, he's not even going to get a trial because he's not mentally competent to stand trial. So 
Uh, he won't be even able to go to court to get a judgment on whether he's competent to stand trial until December. So they got him in 23-hour-a-day uh, solitary confinement. Yeah, I was always worried about him whenever I was there. Me too. Like, like he was Me tweaking too. half the time, and with his mental yeah, well, issues, it was just not yeah. all Yeah, I, I went, um, I actually pulled him aside that day, the day right before he got arrested, and asked him if he was all right, what kind of mood he was in, if he was happy. And I couldn't, like, I'm in a wheelchair, so I couldn't get up there to the roof to grab him. Because of how you know, I I know that guy, and I would have grabbed him and it would possibly prevented him from getting arrested. He's got mental issues, but the one thing that irked me about that was that it legitimized all of what the cops had said from April 1st that all the bricks that were up there just to hold the banners were to be thrown down at the cops. And then when he did that, it legitimized what they had said before. Yeah, yeah, fuck the police though. They're always gonna gonna say something screwed up. You know, they don't ever want to take responsibility for anything they do. That's the main problem with the police no, department. still can't even get anybody to fucking fess up their scuttles. I uh, know. And they got pictures of the guy. and Washington Square North. Yeah, we're uh, all the people watching. We are keeping an eye on the police department. And they have shown up with a bunch more police. Uh, they don't look too aggressive right now. We don't see anybody outfitted with any kind of riot gear at this time. So it doesn't look like they're going to be moving in. But as you know, that Free Man Sullivan will be out here on the front lines and delivering you the live stream to let you know what's going on. And also, uh, when you're at home, you, you can uh, assist us in joining our direct actions. And uh, we'll have numbers for you to call, email addresses that you can email, uh, court support where you can call up the police stations here in Manhattan. Let the New York Police Department know how you feel about their heavy-handed tactics of oppression. And uh, so do stay tuned. I'll be here until battery power is absolutely drained. And uh, you can count on that. And uh, I've had a lovely day here in New York. It's been so wonderful. People are so friendly. Uh, I've met lots of great people. And I'm looking forward to the rest of my stay here. Uh, and. Uh, it's just as great. We we'll get a lot of support from the general population here in New York City. People that you talk to are aware of Occupy Wall Street, and by and large, people do support it. Uh, so New York is not that unfriendly place that a lot of us would believe that they would see on TV. So don't believe anything you see on TV anyway. Just believe what you see on live streams. <laughs> They're actually political live streams. But there's a few officers down here I recognize. And uh, the guys in the white shirts are all command staff. So, see those guys that are over there by the guy with the suit? I've seen him actually at a few protests, and he's kind of an asshole. I don't know his name, but uh, he's not a very friendly man, and he definitely has issues. One, one thing about here about being in New York that I liked about San Francisco is that our Occupy San Francisco, we had a lot of medical cannabis patients, and of course, New York being the uh, they don't have medical uh, cannabis laws here, so uh, it's kind of hard on people like me that are patients, and, uh, but we'll make the best out of it. Uh, we're going to go back over here on the sun. i got better things to do than sit here and watch the damn police department. That's for sure. <laughs> they don't look like they're going to move in. Yeah, all your viewers are glad that you're watching, wherever you may be. Um, I made this trip special for you and uh, service to you people that are out there watching. We're going to cruise around and check out some more stuff here. There's at least a couple thousand people down here for Occupy Wall Street events. So lovely out here. I'm having such a great time. I waited two years to come out, come out here. I've been stuck in this wheelchair, and uh, so this is extra special for me uh, that I'm able to come out here and live stream for all you folks.
Beautiful uh, arch down here at Washington Square Park. Facingteargas.tumblr.com. If you're on the web, come check it out. What are you guys down here? Uh, what are you guys out here for? What are you doing? What's that? Uh, what are you guys out here doing? What are you protesting? Well, we actually are working on a campaign for the global ban of tear gas. Right. So we're asking people to share their stories of having been tear gas from globally, you know, wherever they've been and had that experience. And we're specifically working first within the U.S. to stop sale and shipment of tear gas to both police here in the U.S. and regimes globally that the U.S. is supporting through sale. Okay. And that's at facingteargas.tumblr.com. Okay, so if you're out there on uh, viewing, uh, go check out the website if you've been tear gas. Uh, please uh, enter in your testimony, your story, and uh, thanks a lot. What's your name? Thank you. My name is Kimber Hines. Okay, thank you very much, Kimber Hines. And uh, I'll be talking to you. My name is Clark. Hi, Clark. And uh, Freeman Sullivan on the web. Freeman Sullivan. And I'm a live streamer from San Francisco. Okay, great. So Welcome to New York. Having a great time. Awesome. Very cool. All right, thanks a lot. So we're out here, there's all these lovely people. Hello, Nancy. How you doing there, Steve? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm doing just fine. I got situated here. I got a nice place to stay with a bunch of really nice people. I got here on um, Wednesday or Thursday morning, and it took me all the way up until last night before I my uh, place I was staying at. They they weren't there. Like I was renting out an apartment, and they didn't show up. They didn't show up until like nine o'clock last night, and I had it reserved for nine o'clock in the morning. But I have a lot of friends here, and um, I'd actually give, rather give them money than give somebody I don't know money. And they were there, and they helped me with my wheelchair and everything, so it's all great. It's all good now, you know. Have you been eating? Have you been, like, the burritos I had earlier were delicious. I don't know if you had time to. Um, I, uh, I, uh, when I was on my way here, I got off at 4th Street on the subway, and they had a vegetarian restaurant. Oh, yeah? And I went in, and oh, it was just fabulous. It was delicious. And I got like a huge meal for like 20 bucks, like with everything. And I walked out with a smoothie and, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I'm enjoying my, my time here. You know. Right. This is Nancy Mencias, and she's an occupier of Code Pink from San Francisco. And uh, you have anything you want to say out there to the to the viewers or anything? I love you. I wish you were here. Occupy. Human cool. being. Everyone should be there. Starting yeah, that's Friday. Right? I think it was today. Yeah, today. today Saturday. So, it's okay. Sorry, I don't even know what today is. <laughs> it's Saturday, it's quite right? Yeah, today's Saturday. Yeah, it's quite all right. Um, I actually came here with um, a gentleman named Ahmed Halal. Uh, I don't know if you met him. He was um, uh, part of Arab Spring and uh, one of the organizers of uh, Tahrir Square. And I've been like trying to find him here. He said he was going to be down here. You know, I, I came up here with him from D.C. And... Uh, I, gave, I got him a place to stay last night, and I had to leave him because I had to stay somewhere else. So I'm kind of looking for him, but I'm sure he'll be here. And, and if you're out there watching your Ahmed, uh, come down here to Washington Square Park. I'm going to be out here for a while. We have had a bunch of uh, police officers that have shown up just recently. Um, evidently, there was some kind of march that was on Facebook. There's been not a lot of good information coming out of this Occupy uh, Wall Street here in New York. It's been one of my problems. Like last night, I wanted to go to the uh, Spokes Council down at uh, 55 Water, and uh, uh, they uh, changed where it was at to the ferry terminal and all this other stuff. And I'm just like, I was going to get a cab, and uh, and I'm like, you know, they move it. And I'm trying to get into a cab, and then you move the place. Forget it. 
and I didn't go because of that wasn't very well organized. Yeah, they didn't text me. Oh. Right, I got texts like ten minutes before it was going to happen and and whatnot. So there does need there is a more there needs a, a need for more logistical support here yeah. for people, especially for people that are coming here from out of town. Oh, I know. You know, I am so lucky. I'm lucky because I have a smartphone and then yeah. I know how to. You know, I know about, I've been here in New York and, and whatnot, and I'm not afraid to ask people for directions or help, you know, and everybody here is just, in New York has been wonderful, you know, you know, I love New York, you know, and the weather, oh my God, it's just so lovely out here. I thought I'm going to New York, that would be sunblock, Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Yeah, it was a little warm down in D.C., but not too bad. Yeah, well, New York's a little more com is a little more comfortable than Washington because you get a little breeze off the ocean here, whereas you don't get that in right, DC's hot and you know you've been there. <laughs> but I like DC too. I have a good time when I go there. Yeah, he was here. He was here. Yes. Right. Yeah, all our San Francisco people are here. You know, we love it. You know, I was surprised when I noticed all the people that were coming out here. You know, but it's just great. You know, part of me wants to be in San Francisco to help out because I know Dave is going to be out there, you know, risking life and limb and a lot of people, but right, they're going to be kicking butt in San Francisco too. And I actually think that San Francisco has more actions that are going on than New York. Uh, and I'm kind of surprised that, that our little part of the world is actually uh, better organized and more there's more going on than out here in New York because there's ten times as many people here, you know. So it makes me wonder about the infrastructure of what's going on here. And I've actually maybe, I might want to spend a little more time here organizing and helping the people here locally, right? Because we had a problem with the video. We were supposed to be on uh, with the uh, Manhattan News Network. Yeah, and that got canceled. I'm kind of angry about that because I came up here early and I put together a, a crew to work at the station. And nobody was calling me. Um, I got one email the whole time. and. Uh, and I'm just like, come on, people, uh, get it together, you know, contact me, you know. And I've got, like, a huge video crew that have people that want to work that are experienced. And you cancel everything. But that's okay. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to go down to Global Rev tonight and hang out. And well, I'll stick around for that, yeah. yeah. You know. I know exactly where you're at. Yeah, I didn't make it. I didn't. I didn't get to bed until like one or two in the morning. Well. Yeah, alert. I agree. Well, I'm prepared. Like, I'm staying like out in uh, Kensington in Brooklyn. And, uh, but if I, I've got plenty of money and credit cards, so if I need a place to stay here tonight in New York, yeah, you know, you just yeah, plus I know, uh, I'm, uh, good friends with all the yippies here, uh -huh. so all the yippies down at, uh, they got a, they have a cafe at Nine Bleecker Street, Nine Bleecker Street. and we're going to be down there later on tonight too, and, yep. and doing a little commentary and, and, uh, and video and stuff from there, Great. you know, and, uh, you know, uh, Abby Hoffman and Jerry Rubin still live on in American history, and, and uh, so the Yippie Museum is still there and still has an operation after uh, almost 40 years, over 40 years now. And on Bleecker Street, so if you're you're in the Lower East Side uh, by the Bowery, it's Bleecker near the Bowery, Nine Bleecker Street. So yeah, they serve up uh, uh, all kinds of juices. They have coffee and all kinds of crap, so it's good. Well, uh, yeah, if you go down to Zuccotti, they arrested John Penley there last night. Is that the veteran guy? Yeah. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, he's in our Occupy San Francisco, or uh, I guess we call it Occupy Action San Francisco now, right? Because we split off from the 101 so, people. Because they don't want to, the 101 people don't want to interact with other people. They got arrested for setting down his backpack. Hey, do I know this John Penley, you know him, he comes to our meetings, right? 
I'll have to point him out to you. He's, uh, he's in his late 50s. He was, uh, he's in Iraqi Veterans Against the War. And he's um, he's got like a white goatee. He's balding on top and he's got gray hair on the sides. He got arrested at, Char uh, at the Democrat Dempon at Charlotte at the Democratic National Convention. So, I, like, yeah. I, probably, I probably know him by face. Yeah, you know him by face. Yeah. So. Oh my god! I'm sorry. <laughs> Nancy from Code Pink. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how you doing? Ken, how are you? Mark, nice to meet you too. I was in San, proud San Franciscan for many years. Great, great. You got anything you want to add? Say out there to the people who are watching our live stream. Oh well, it's just it's great to be here for OWS's one year anniversary, and um, keep moving. OWS is not dead, far from it. Although the naysayers, the haters, the liberals, the media will try to make us believe that it's dead.